Are hydrogen cars superior to electric vehicles? Delving into the world of automotive innovation, hydrogen cars, also known as hydrogen fuel cell cars, emerge as a distinct category apart from electric cars. While these hydrogen-powered vehicles share similarities with electric cars, such as the absence of an internal combustion engine, sightings of hydrogen cars on the road remain rare. The debate boils down to the age-old question, which is better, hydrogen or electric? In this comprehensive exploration, we uncover key aspects of hydrogen cars, aiming to discern their potential advantages over electric cars. Understanding Hydrogen Cars Before delving into the technical comparisons, it's crucial to grasp the fundamentals of both hydrogen and electric cars. Hydrogen, the most abundant element on Earth, has a historical presence in powering engines since 1807, offering a remarkably clean fuel option. Hydrogen fuel cell cars feature a hydrogen tank that supplies high-pressure hydrogen gas to a fuel cell, initiating an electrochemical reaction with oxygen. This process generates electricity, powering an electric motor without emitting toxic tailpipe emissions. Notably, the sole byproduct is water and heat, a result of hydrogen combining with oxygen atoms to form water molecules. The characteristics of hydrogen cars blend elements of electric and traditional petrol cars, with fuel cells playing a pivotal role. Deciphering electric cars. On the flip side, electric cars function as master orchestrators of internal processes, driven by lithium ion batteries that supply power to electric motors. These batteries recharge by plugging into the electricity grid, akin to other electronic devices. Some electric cars even harness energy during braking, converting heat into electricity for a small recharge. The core power source for electric vehicles lies in the rechargeable battery, making them distinctive in their energy utilization. As we weigh the merits of hydrogen and electric cars, it's crucial to analyze critical characteristics. Energy efficiency takes center stage in this comparison, revealing inherent differences between the two technologies. Energy efficiency. Hydrogen faces inefficiency challenges as it doesn't occur naturally. It must be extracted and compressed into fuel tanks. In the process of converting hydrogen fuel to electricity, a significant energy loss occurs during the energy vector transition, shifting from wire to gas and back to wire to power the vehicle. For instance, utilizing 100 watts of electricity from a renewable source like a wind turbine to power a hydrogen fuel cell car involves a multi-step process, including electrolysis, which is only 75% energy efficient. The hydrogen versus electric car battle hinges on factors like energy efficiency. Informed decisions depend on understanding each technology. Both hydrogen and electric cars contribute to a sustainable automotive future. The ongoing power play is explored in our video for deeper insights into these innovative technologies shaping the industry's future. Approximately one quarter of the electricity is automatically lost. After obtaining the hydrogen, it needs further compression, chilling, and transportation to the hydrogen station. This entire process is about 90% efficient. Additionally, once inside the vehicle, the hydrogen is converted to electricity by the fuel cell, which is 60% efficient. Finally, the electricity is used by the electric motors to propel the vehicle, achieving 95% efficiency. Combining all these factors, only 38 watts out of the original 100 watts of electricity are used. On the other hand, the energy to propel electric vehicles comes directly from the battery pack. Unlike hydrogen fuel cell cars, the energy runs through wires from the source to the battery. The same 100 watts of power from the turbine loses about 5% efficiency in this journey through the grid. It further loses 10% from charging and discharging the lithium ion battery and another 5% from having the electricity to power the electric vehicle. This results in approximately 80 watts compared to 38 watts with hydrogen fuel. It is evident that hydrogen vehicles are less efficient than electric vehicles. When comparing hydrogen cars refueling stations to electric car charging stations, there are over 10 million electric vehicles on the roads worldwide, with sales continually rising. The number of powering stations for electric vehicles is growing daily, totaling more than 40,000 electric vehicle power stations in the U.S. alone, compared to 45 hydrogen refueling stations. 
Governments worldwide have been investing in infrastructures such as charging stations at existing petrol stations, motorway rest stops, shopping center car parks, and even on the sides of some streets. Even the United Kingdom offers grants towards the purchase and installation of domestic charging points. Electric vehicles are also cheaper than hydrogen-powered cars with lower recharging costs during off-peak grid times, making electric vehicles a sound long-term investment. In contrast, hydrogen cars still have very few refueling stations, and building them is hardly a priority. This indicates that the infrastructure supply and technology of hydrogen cars are still years behind electric vehicles. When considering refueling time, hydrogen cars have an advantage over electric cars. The time it takes to pump hydrogen into the tank is significantly shorter, around 5 to 10 minutes, akin to filling up petrol or diesel cars. This is in contrast to potentially waiting hours for the same range to be added to the battery pack of electric cars, even with Tesla's fast chargers providing 80% power in half an hour. The BMW i3 or the Nissan Leaf, for example, can take around 4 to 8 hours to get fully charged. Ultimately, the time electric cars take to power depends on the charging station and the type of charging connector. But regardless of the combination, hydrogen cars have a notable advantage in refueling time title. Evaluating hydrogen and electric cars for a sustainable future. In the pursuit of sustainable transportation solutions, both hydrogen and electric cars offer promising alternatives. However, while their core values remain unchanged, the methods of obtaining hydrogen present significant challenges that impact their environmental and economic viability. This discussion explores the real problem associated with hydrogen production, evaluates current methods, and compares the drawbacks and advantages of hydrogen and electric cars. Despite being the most abundant element in the universe, obtaining pure hydrogen on Earth is a complex task. Hydrogen is typically derived from sources such as water or natural gas through processes like electrolysis. Unfortunately, the efficiency of these methods is a concern with electrolysis being only 75% efficient and resulting in 25% electricity losses. The energy-intensive nature of hydrogen production makes it an expensive process. Renewable Energy Solutions To address the high energy consumption of hydrogen production, it is crucial to consider renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power. Utilizing energy from these sources can significantly reduce carbon emissions, making the overall hydrogen production process more environmentally friendly. However, the current methods are still not energy efficient and remain costly. Conclusion on hydrogen fuel. While hydrogen fuel obtained through natural gas reforming is less expensive than reverse electrolysis and more efficient than traditional electrolysis, it comes with environmental drawbacks. Harmful byproducts like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide contribute to global warming. Additionally, methane leaks during natural gas extraction pose a severe threat, given methane's high global warming potential. Environmental Impact of Natural Gas Reforming The process of natural gas reforming, including fracking, has significant environmental consequences. Methane leaks, biodiversity threats, water contamination, and seismic activity are all associated with this method. The environmental impact undermines the potential of hydrogen-powered vehicles as a climate change solution due to the emission of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and methane. Comparing electric cars. Currently, electric cars are more accessible and offer various advantages over hydrogen cars. The efficiency of electric car processes, coupled with the widespread availability of charging points, positions them as a more viable solution. Furthermore, the potential for reusing lithium batteries enhances their sustainability and effectiveness compared to hydrogen cars. Looking to the future, as we contemplate the future of transportation, the widespread accessibility, efficiency, and potential for battery reuse make electric cars a compelling option. The discussion invites opinions on the future trajectory of electric vehicles and invites consideration of whether electric cars may outshine hydrogen cars as a sustainable solution in the years to come. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe our channel for more content. Thank you.